Cześć, mam tu Wąski, witam Was na Wąskim Kanale, a dzisiaj robimy wjazd do amerykańskiego sklepu z rybkami, amerykańskiego akwarystycznego. Zapraszam. Urodziny w salonie w Chicago, Illinois. Słuchajcie, ze mną znajduje się bardzo duże akwarium i obok takie mniejsze. To duże akwarium było prezentem ode mnie dla mojej rodziny, tej, tej rodziny, którą tutaj zazwyczaj odwiedzam tak raz do roku średnio, ponieważ oni już mieli kiedyś akwarium, pamiętam, w Polsce, no to tak na święta, prawda, akwarium także tutaj takie amerykańskie. No i zakupiliśmy parę rybek, między innymi skalary, czyli tak zwane angelfish, no i te angelfish, no, dobrały się w parę, no i złożyły ikrę. I teraz to akwarium, które za mną tutaj małe widzicie, to na ujęciach w przybliżeniu znajdują się właśnie małe skalary, w tej chwili odseparowane od swoich rodziców, pomarańczowa kobietka i czarny facet. Oni się razem dobrali, no i właśnie mają w tej chwili przeżyło jakieś 30 małych skalarów. Potem dalsze ujęcia to już są dwutygodniowe skalary. No i potem one rosną w przeciągu miesiąca już do takich skalarów, które jedzą normalną karmę, suchą, tak jak inne. Już prawie dorosłe osobniki, po trzech miesiącach można je już oddać albo sprzedać. No i one naprawdę są gigantyczne, coraz większe rosną do wielkości nawet dłoni. No i chciałem Wam pokazać, w związku z tym, że seria zakupowa Wam się bardzo podobała, to chciałem Wam pokazać, jak wygląda Amerykanie amerykański akwarystyczny, amerykański sklep z rybkami. No i tam właśnie stamtąd była ta nasza hodowla i prawdopodobnie trzeba będzie tam także od nich albo oddać, albo odsprzedać młode pokolenie skalarów, które udaje nam się jak na, na razie sukcesywnie wychowywać. Więc idziemy do sklepu i zobaczcie sami jak to wygląda tutaj w Stanach Zjednoczonych. Never know. I'm gonna get, trying to get a lot of tank-raised fish in in the next coming is coming up week, so I just got to see what the availability is. So I would say check with me Wednesday, like a .25 reading or something. Maybe do like a half a dose. So I should still have some. In. That's, that's why you I should still have some. Yeah, you wouldn't have gotten it all out. I don't think you got it all out. They can get pretty colorful. You know what I mean? But they don't always show yeah, that color. My, uh, this, how much is that? Uh, he's on sale for $69.99. Hi, my name is Anthony Mastretta. I own Ocean Design Aquarium. We are located at 7542 West Addison in Chicago, Illinois. This is my wife, Linda. The two of us uh, run the store. We've been in business over 30 years now. This location, we're here now about seven years. It's about our, our third location. We pr predominantly do aquatics, so we do a lot of salt water as well as a lot of fresh water with live plants. You know, a lot of uh, nano fish, things of that nature. Part of over here is kind of a, a register and a lot of our dry goods are up here. Um, we do have some interesting tanks on the counter. We've got a little reef tank over here. It's a 13 and a half gallon. This one's been set up about two and a half years now. Um, and then we've got a couple shrimp tanks over here. The, uh, the small ornamental shrimp have gotten very popular in freshwater. You know, along with lots of little like live plants that you can grow in there and things of that nature. Some of the little tiger shrimp, some of them are babies growing up, but there's a little tiger shrimp. And then those are uh, orange-eyed tiger shrimp in there. All right, and then let me show you on this side here is all our saltwater uh, livestock. Um, you know, down all the way down on the end here. This is it's predominantly invertebrates and live corals. Um, you know, we carry quite a bit of uh, different live coral, although nowadays it's harder to get coral because Indonesia has been shut down for quite a while now, so it's more expensive corals from Australia and places like that that you can get and they're a lot more expensive, so, you know, there's, there's a little more or less select coral available, but, you know, we still have some nice pieces, a lot of frags in here and some colonies, and then we do stuff like the, the live rock up here, we got shrimp. 
Um, right now our stock is a little bit low because after the holidays it takes the wholesalers a little bit of time to get caught back up. Yes, one of the interesting things about the saltwater coral is a lot of people think of them as plants, but they are not plants, they're actually animals. Um, and uh, what the nice thing you can do is you can propagate them and grow them. So then you can get one piece and then keep reproducing it. And actually many people can have those th same pieces in their tank from one piece. And then you kind of save the ocean and save taking pieces out of the ocean and, and grow them out. So these are examples here. You got frags on those little plugs. So what happens is you grow them out and break them off and put them on a plug and then they grow into a whole nother big mother colony and you can keep doing that down the line. So it definitely helps to save the, save the reefs in the ocean. This is a piece here of coral, as you can see, uh, as an example, we had a big main piece that was on there and it was there for a while. And then we sold that big piece, but this part started growing off that piece onto this rock and eventually that will encrust and cover that whole rock. So from that one piece, we're still left with fragments that are growing and will, will, will again be able to be sold. All right, and then this section here is where we have a lot of our saltwater fish. You know, like you say, right now we're a little low, but next week we'll be stocking back up. Um, these are tank-raised clowns up here, and we are getting more and more tank-raised fish in, which is very important so that, you know, not as many fish are gonna be being taken out of the wild. Um, tank raised fish are now a lot more available and there's a lot more species that at one time you never thought would be but now are tank raised so it's a really exciting part of the hobby right now is to see how far they can take it um, and then up here you got some more fish that a little bit bigger fish that's a puffer fish and you got a harlequin tusk neither of these can be tank raised yet but uh, you know they, they are very popular uh, saltwater fish as I was saying these are wild caught fish up here um, but you know it, there, there's a lot of ways you, to, to get a permit it's not that easy you have to have a permit to collect fish a business that you take them out to sell them it's not like you can just go in the ocean legally and just take them out and take them home um, so that's something kind of to safeguard how many fish are taken out. And like I say, many things are being done to learn how to, to, to breed more of these fish so less fish are taken out and there's less strain on the oceans. Here we have a, a, a tank raised clownfish. Um, clownfish have been uh, um, really popular with uh, people for their kids, um, kind of like from the movie Nemo. Um, it's, it's a, you know, it teaches kids how to take care of an animal, how to have compassion for animals and, and, and actually have compassion for the ocean and taking care of the ocean in the future. Uh, so it's a really good teaching for kids to learn and it also gives them joy and a hobby to learn, something to learn instead of just playing video games. All right, and now here we have our freshwater section. As you can see, there's a lot of diversity and a lot of different types of fish. Um, we do a lot with live plants. Um, the, the live aquatic plants have become extremely popular. Um, it really has opened up the hobby and, and really advanced it quite a bit. Um, makes uh, in, enjoying the aquarium a lot more too to see your plants grow, not just your fish. So these are some of our plant tanks over here. Um, a lot of these are propagated in Florida. They're grown in a nursery in Florida. Um, and then we also have a, a certain section up front over there where we have plants that we grow ourselves underwater uh, that started from tissue culture, which, which what tissue culture is, is kind of grown in a laboratory with no, no algae, no disease, no snails. So it's kind of a sterile environment that it's grown in. And then we grow them underwater and then we sell clippings from them. To, to customers and stuff, which is really nice. One of the more popular uh, freshwater fish these days are, are discus. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Um, they grow to be a nice size. They'll get the size of like a dinner plate. Very pretty, but they are a little harder to keep. They require far more water changes and uh, just, you know, more, more dedicated care. Um, they do like higher temperatures. They're from the Amazon, um, but beautiful fish. These are all tank bred. So none of these are wild. Um, you do see wild discus sometimes, but they're not as colorful as the captive bred species that have been bred to have all these colors. All right, and then another popular type of fish or aquarium would be the African cichlids. They're a little more aggressive fish, 
So you got to kind of keep fish from from the African lakes together because if you try mixing other fish, more than likely they will kill them. So they're not compatible with them. There's different types of, uh, of African cichlids. They come from basically three different lakes, Lake Malawi, uh, Lake Victorian, and Lake Tanganyika. Um, so we kind of have mostly fish from Lake Malawi. They're probably the more popular, but we do carry some Tanganyika and Victorian species as well. And those are kind of all along the top over here. All right, and then our kind of our third type of tank would be a community tank, which kind of is all the way across here. Most of these are community fish. There's a few species inter intertwined in here that maybe would not be, but you know, there's a few exceptions, that's all. Um, community fish, you kind of get more your planted. People that do your planted tanks are gonna do more your community fish. They're more compatible with the live plants. And you can put a lot more variety in the tank. You can have different sizes and shapes and you know, uh, uh, different types of fish. So it's kind of a more interesting tank, a little less specialized like the discus or the African cichlids, which are kind of, you know, limited on what you can put with them. And, um, you know, and that kind of makes up our freshwater uh, section. Yes, this is again our discus tank. Just to show you, uh, that, you know, these guys are a little more specialized, like I was saying, and as far as feeding, they'll eat some dry food and that, but you also have to do frozen food. These are frozen bloodworms. Um, that we feed them and they really really like eating them as you can see gives them a lot of protein and they really enjoy eating them all right and then here's a here's an example of some fish that will, will predominantly eat dry food although they do like the frozen and will eat it as well this is a sea chem flake food, which is very, very good. It has probiotics in it, really nutritious for them. And as you can see, the fish enjoy eating it quite a bit. And then this section here is where we kind of quarantine a lot of fish. Uh, certain species I get in, I will quarantine just to make sure that they're healthy. Uh, species I know sometimes have typical problems. Um, and then we also have some baby tanks in here as well grow out tanks and breeding tanks like the guppies over here. Um, you know, we, uh, that's a tank to breed guppies in. But then here are some babies that we have of some of the cichlids. I've got uh, some Crebenzis in this uh, tank right here, which I'm dropping some frozen baby brine as food. And then these are some Geophagus species that are in here. And uh, you can see they'll uh, really go after the little food. It's small enough that the babies can eat very easily. Yeah, one of the differences between fresh and salt water is uh, you have to mix up salt water for salt water. So that's really only really main step is you have to add salt and mix it and get it to a certain salt level. You use a, an instrument like a hydrometer like this, which you get it to a certain salt level. Um, and one of the things we do here and we do sell a lot of is water. We sell a lot of because we filter our water. Um, it, it's called reverse osmosis. Um, DI water, so uh, it basically takes everything out of the water, and uh, we do sell it so people don't have to do both. They do it at home. Um, we kind of collect our RO water in this bucket right here, and then we transfer it into here and we mix it to the proper salt level. And then you just bring in containers, we, you, we fill them up for you, and you buy the water and you go home and you can do your water changes and uh, take care of your aquarium without the fuss and mess of uh, making your own water. All right, and to wrap things up, thank you for uh, coming in to see our uh, wonderful store and all the different things we sell. Again, we're located at 7542 West Addison in Chicago, Illinois. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the uh, show. Thank you. Dzięki, że ze mną byliście. Mam nadzieję, że podobał Wam się filmik z e, amerykańskiego sklepu z rybkami, z amerykańskiego sklepu akwarystycznego. Jeżeli chcecie wesprzeć kolejne takie produkcje, jesteście ciekawi, jak wyglądają takie właśnie fajne, małe, rodzinne e, biznesy w Stanach Zjednoczonych, e, to pamiętajcie, że możecie wesprzeć e, moje kolejne projekty na Patronite Wąski. Wparcie też na inne social media Elektorat Wąskiego Grupa, na Facebooku, no i oczywiście fanpage Wąski Kanał. 
kanał, no i wszystkie inne zdjęcia z podróży na moim Instagramie Wądrek. Mam szczerą nadzieję, że podobał Wam się ten materiał. Jeżeli jesteście zajawkowiczami, udostępnijcie ten materiał. A kto wie, może kolejny będzie z innymi zajawkowiczami, z innymi biznesami. No, ja to tak to pokazuję właśnie od tej strony e, amerykańskiej, jak to działa, jak to wygląda. E, I fajnie, że pozwalają innym youtuberom wejść e, na zaplecze i pokazać, e, jak to wszystko wygląda. Ja jestem Wąski, Chicago, Illinois. Subskrybuj Wąski kanał, zostaw lajka i komentarz. Dołącz do naszej grupy Elektora Wąskiego na Facebooku. Po więcej zdjęć i inspiracji z podróży wpadnij na Instagram.